All right. Hey, everyone. Cesar here at Gibson, and we are with the amazing Gilby Clark. Welcome to our house. Thank you. Happy to be here in the world of guitars. <laughs> this is my happy place. <laughs> Me too. Um, so why don't we start with you telling us and the fans just what inspired you to pick up a guitar? Well, when I was a young guy, one of the first bands I loved was Kiss. You know, Ace Freely. You know, in, 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 Ace <laughs> exactly. <what? laughs> uh, you know, uh, Kiss, Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper. So all my favorite guitar players, Jimmy Page, Ace Freely, all played a Les Paul. Peter Frampton probably had the best looking Les Paul out of everybody. And it really was that black and cream Les Paul that really inspired me to play guitar. You know, it was almost an image before the sound came in. So yeah, it was pretty much those guys, man. They were my heroes. That's awesome. I heard you just finished recording an album. Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. I'm really excited. I have not done a record since 2003. So uh, it's been a long time coming. For me, I can't do a record unless I feel good about the songs. I want to make a record that I want to listen to. So uh, these songs, I'm really excited about their new songs. It really is classic, classic rock. Really nothing new on it, just a new version of what I like to do, which is loud guitars, man. I love that. So I, uh, you know, I went in and attracted used guys like Kenny Aronoff on drums, Steve Perkins from Jane's Addiction, some really great players. I, I played all the guitars and did all the, the singing on it. But uh, I think it's good. I think it's a good, fresh approach on, on, on classic rock, really. And when can we expect that uh, to be out? Okay. <laughs> I think May. May is our plan. So hopefully May. I mean, it, this has been going on for a few years. The deal is done. I hope it's May. That's awesome. And tell us about what instruments you uh, incorporated in this uh, recording. Well, I kind of went back to the, the basics. Uh, I, I have this great... Uh, Les Paul 60s classic I've had forever and ever. Yeah. It really is stock, and, and I just love that guitar. That through my JMP Marshall just sounds beautiful. Yep. But I always like to, when I double the guitars, I, I do one on one side and a different one. And I actually use my 1959 Les Paul Jr., completely original, on the other side through a Vox AC30. And it was just that combination of that. So, wait, you used your 60s. Les Paul. And a Marshall on one side. Marshall and a Junior with a 59 box. with a Vox. And that's so cool. Yeah, thank you. I, I love it. I'm going to try that at home. <laughs> it's it's not like, a, you know, it's not a big Pantera sound, but it's a good classic Aerosmith sound. You yeah. Know? To me, that's what I was going for on this record. Yeah, man. So, I'm very excited. And when can we see you live on tour? Live? I'm playing tonight. <laughs> well, I'm going, I'm going to that, but when can the fans come see uh, well, you live? Once again, I think the same time. We're going to try to get out a little bit during this summer, but we're really going to do most of the work in the fall and stuff. You know, hopefully go some wonderful places like maybe Argentina. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm going to have to go to that too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I have the time of my life. Now. How do you like playing? I mean, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Sure. It's close to my heart. How much do you like playing in Argentina? It is the best rock and roll audience in the world. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Keep an eye for the new material coming out. If you haven't seen him live, do yourselves a favor and go see. I had a pleasure to see him live a couple of weeks ago, and it's just, it's just so unbelievable to watch him being, you know, rocking better than ever. That's right, man. Good fun, man. Keep the Les Paul low and loud. Thank you for coming to our house. Anytime, man.